wait, wait, what? No, mm -mm, sure, wrong video. So I just like redid my hair. I mean, like it didn't really go as purple as I wanted it to, but you know, it's purple again. Leave in the comments down below what color you think I should do next, because I'll probably just dye my whole head again, because, you know, we'd like to be adventurous here on The Awkward Book Room. I was thinking blue, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I need a new color. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my April TBR video. I honestly don't think I'm going to get a lot of reading done this month, because it's exam month, so from April 5th to April 28th, I'm in exams, so reading's probably not going to happen, but... We're gonna make a TBR anyways, you know, in hopes that I'll actually read. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so I know that I said I was going to read two of the books on this TBR last month. It didn't happen. I'm sorry. It just it, it, reading was not a thing. Okay, but I'm going to go over those two books again because I'm halfway through one of them and like a quarter of a way through the other one. So, you know, we're slowly but surely getting there. The first book is Pendulum by Adam Hamdy. This book follows John Wallace who wakes up one day and he has a noose around his neck and there's a man standing in front of him with a mask and a full body armor on and he's standing on a chair and the man kicks the chair and then a big adventure starts. I'm about halfway through this book. It's very slow right now and it's halfway through so I'm kind of like not loving it and it's a pretty hefty book so I'm making my way through it very slowly. I thought it was going to be a lot more interesting and like action packed but it's just kind of like meh meh but, but if you've been on this channel for a while you know your girl cannot DNF books so slowly but surely we're going to finish this. It's like 500 pages and I'm 237 pages in. But like the cover's so cool and the catchphrase is so cool and it's just like, mm, I'm sad that it's not that good. I feel like I'm sipping tea with that book, like, hey, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, mm. The second book that I was supposed to read last month is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This book follows two twins, one is named Jude and one is named Noah. And it's when Noah is 13 and when Jude is 16. And something happened that caused them not to talk. So Noah's point of view is when he's 13 and it's leading up to why him and Jude don't talk. And then Jude's perspective is in the present time when she's 16. I'm like 70 pages, 74 pages into it. So far I'm liking it but I just haven't like sat down and read it. So hopefully I actually finish this one as well. The third book that I'm hoping to read for this month is called Anne and Henry and it's by Don Eos. It's like a loose retelling of King Henry and Anne Brazley, I think her name is. We're gonna go Bolin. We were close. Brazley, Bolin, same thing. But it's a loose retelling of that and basically Anne is like this rebel girl and Henry is, has his life planned out for him and everyone's telling them not to get together but they're drawn to each other and it's like a little contemporary love story kind of thing. So far I'm like 30 pages into it. I started it this morning and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's really cute and fluffy and I think it's going to be a super fast read so I will at least get one book done this month, hopefully. The fourth book that I'm hoping to read for this month is Kiss of Death by Lauren Henderson. This is the fourth and final book in the Scarlet Wakerfield series. Which I read in... Not last month. What comes before March? January, February, March. February. I know my calendar months. But I read the first three books in January and February. So this is the last one. I'm probably going to read it and probably going to hate it because I didn't really like the first three books. But I just want to see how the story ends at this point because I've read the other three books. So might as well just read the last one to see how it finishes. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to happen. Maybe. Probably not. We'll see. And then the fifth and final book that I'm hoping to read. Probably not gonna happen. It's Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. I read a Sarah Dessen book last month. I read Dreamland and I did like it. I thought it was really good. And it was the first Sarah Dessen book that I've actually like thoroughly enjoyed. So we're gonna try this one out and see how that goes. But it follows best friends Haley and Scarlett and they've always depended on each other. They balance each other out very well. Haley is the quiet one. Scarlet is the more outgoing, fun one. Haley has always relied on Scarlet more than Scarlet has relied on Haley, but the tables have turned when Scarlet's boyfriend dies in a motorcycle accident and she discovers that she is carrying his baby. So she now needs Haley more than ever, and it's basically their friendship story. And I'm excited to read it. I just think it's going to be an interesting read. And I'm hoping that it's going to be like Dreamland because I really like that book. So we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so that is my April TBR. Hopefully I get to at least one or two of them. Fingers crossed. Exams do not kick my butt this year. But 
but we'll see how it goes. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye. I Lauren, Lauren, blah, blah, blah. Lauren Hawthorne, and it's not even Lauren Hawthorne. Who's Lauren Hawthorne? Oh, I think that's a girl I went to school with. You should probably edit that out. Don't stalk her. <laughs>